hello smart people here is a celebrity instructor alison in this smart video tutorial i want to show you how to make x a subject of the relation so to keep that simple you cross multiply this we're having one plus ax over one minus ax equal to p over q so the best way to approach this problem is to cross multiply so i will use this q to multiply by one plus ax and also this one minus ax to multiply by p so let's do that immediately so what do we need to start off with let's use this first one plus ax equals p into one minus ax uh, it doesn't matter which one comes first even if you want to write this then p but i think it's, it makes sense if you do, do it like this all right so what's the next approach to this problem um we need to distribute because you don't need to think so much we need to distribute so one by q we have q q again by this we have uh depending you can just do this like this that makes sense equals if you use this against this p multiplied by one that will be p minus p multiplied by a x that would be a x p all right so I think it's, it's becoming a bit clearer. Keep in mind we're interested in x. So what do we need to do at this point? Let's see how we can bring this and this together. And to achieve that, we can move this q over there and bring this over here. So let's start off with this. Axq, if this negative Axp crosses, then we have plus Axp. This will be equal to have p here and if this q moves to that part we have it to the negative q all right hope that seems simple if you're new to this channel please make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell when i upload new video you get notification and please make sure to like this video and share all right so what's the next point let's factor out this x if you factor out that you have x into a q plus a p this will be equals p minus q okay so because we want to make x the subject of the relation you need to divide both sides by this a q plus a p do the same thing here a q plus a p so this would cancel out with each other therefore you have your x to equals anything all the stuff you have there p minus q over a q uh, plus a p if at any point you're not comfortable with this a repeating it each order you can still simplify for that to say p minus q is equals because a is common to both sides you can factor that out and then you have q plus p and this becomes the solution to this problem hope you found this video helpful please make sure to share this video like it hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so that when i upload new video you get notification my name is instructor allison the celebrity instructor share this video see you later bye bye